In this video, we will demonstrate how to properly administer and terminate nitrous oxide oxygen sedation. To begin, let's review the components of the nitrous oxide sedation unit. The scavenging and evacuation system, the nasal hood and hose, the pressure reducing valve, the pin index safety system, the log sheet, the key to open and close the tanks, the flow meter, and the knobs, the yoke, the pressure gauges, the anatomical dead space, and the reservoir bag. You will begin by wiping down all the components of the equipment. This includes the hoses, the reservoir bag, and even the tanks. As you're doing this, you can check the equipment for any tears or leaks. Once the unit is clean, place the appropriate barriers over it. Make sure that the tanks are closed and that the gauges read zero. Start turning the knob slowly and determine which tanks you will use that contain enough gas for the duration of your treatment. Remember to close all the tanks again and flush until you're ready to use them for your patient. To flush the tanks, turn on the unit, hold down the flush button, and empty the reservoir bag. The gauges should read zero now. Take and record your patient's baseline vitals. Communicate the sedation process to your patient, allow them to ask questions and make them feel at ease. Then ask your patient to please visit the restroom so as to avoid the termination and initiation process of nitrous sedation. Position the chair in a supine and comfortable position. Assemble the scavenging and evacuation system. It has arrows directing you which end goes where and make sure to turn it on. Adjust it so that it is at the ideal level of 45 liters per minute. You'll know it's at this level when the sphere is in the green zone. Assemble the nasal hood and attach it to the hoses, lining it up to the same size inserts. The small with the small and the larger one with the larger ones. The same goes for the rest of the hoses. The larger prongs go into the larger holes and the smaller prong into the smaller holes. Now that it's all assembled, open the tanks you will use. Start the flow of oxygen at 6 liters per minute. Ensure the bag is inflated, and remember, this is to be done before placing the nasal hood on the patient. Secure the nasal hood over the patient's nose, making sure there are no gaps. It should be flush against their face. Allow them to adjust it if necessary. Ask them to breathe through their nose and ask, and ask them to let you know if they feel they are getting enough oxygen and observe the reservoir bag. In this case, my patient needs more, so I increase the flow to 7 liters per minute, then 8 liters per minute. Remember, everyone has a different lung capacity. His tidal volume is 8 liters per minute. Now you are ready to begin titrations. Take note of the time. Begin with 1 liter 
per minute of, of nitrous, then bring oxygen down by one, maintaining the tidal volume of eight liters per minute. Ensure your patient's legs are uncrossed and their arms are placed either at their sides or in their lap. And observe them for signs of sedation. Ask open-ended questions. If they, they tell you they don't feel any different, titrate again, this time increasing nitrous by 0.5 and decreasing oxygen by 0.5. Observe your patient after each titration. My patient required three titrations before he stated he was feeling relaxed. His eyes are glossy, eye movement is reduced, and sometimes there will be a slight smile. His hands and feet are relaxed as well. Make sure you're also looking for signs of over sedation. Ask your patient if they're comfortable enough to begin the treatment and remind them to breathe through their nose. During your treatment, keep an eye on the equipment. Make sure there are no kinks in the hoses and that the reservoir bag is not overinflated or collapsed. Once you are ready to terminate nitrous oxide sedation, start by bringing the oxygen back up to tidal volume, in this case 8 liters per minute, and then turn off nitrous. Allow your patient to breathe 100% oxygen for 5 full minutes, taking note of the time of termination. Ask your patient if they feel as they did prior to the procedure. If not, allow them more time on pure oxygen. Remove the nasal hood and turn off the oxygen. Take and record your patient's vitals once again before they are dismissed from your operatory. To disassemble the unit, remove the nasal hood and leave the plastic prongs on the rubber hosing. Place the components into a sterilization bag, labeled like this. Take note of the contents of each tank and ensure that the tanks are tightly closed. It's important to mention that the only components to be sterilized are, is the nasal hood. Do not pouch and sterilize the scavenging and evacuation device. It only needs to be wiped since it has no direct contact with the patient. Once again, give everything a thorough wipe down before returning the unit. Record the contents of each tank along with the date. Now you're ready to check the unit back in. Once your unit is properly wiped down, carefully roll the unit back to the storage room. Once at the storage room, you must go through the checkout list with a faculty member in order to be signed off. Here, you will show the faculty member the remaining gas levels in each tank. Next, tightly close each valve to prevent any leakage while in storage. If any of your tanks are empty, it is your responsibility to change them out so they are ready to go for the next person. To remove an empty tank, carefully unstrap the Velcro strap located near the bottom of the tank. Next, turn the handle to the left to release the lever. 
Once this is done, you may gently remove the tank from the unit by pulling straight back. It is very important to make sure the washer remains intact and does not get lost. Place your empty tank in the proper area and retrieve a new tank to replace it. Be sure to properly align the new tank with the pins and lock it into place. Once it's placed correctly, you may place the lever back down and tighten all the way. Place the strap securely back on the bottom of the tank to prevent any movement. Lastly, check the amount of gas on the new tank and record it on the tag along with the date. You are now ready to be signed off and have officially completed your nitrous oxide experience. Way to go!